we have any guidelines or an agenda type thing? To don't know. Wasn't that your last meeting? <coughs> yeah. We, we're getting the jive on how these committees work. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I can, I think what I understand happened at the last meeting is, yes, we're going to keep it in the rural district. We don't have a feel for it going anyplace else. Is that what I understand? Did you start that? Okay. So I'm not just a poll talking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that what I understand? Rural? Right. Okay. <clears throat> and Pretty much the way that that map. State. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's our current zoning map. So that works. Okay. So everything that's the whitish is right. where camping's allowed. Yep. Okay. But we also talked about scale. Scale? Yeah. Okay. Like? We, we deduced that there was enough of the, that type of motor park in the area. In Bethel and Hanover, mm -hmm. about uh, grass and knots, and yep. that uh, <clears throat> that this area would be uh, more suitable to the campgrounds that exist in here. For example, would be Maureen's campground. Grass and knots. Yep. The one that Mark said. Yeah. Okay. Do he, we? So you're thinking more wilderness tents, right. yurts. Mm -hmm. Composting outhouses, uh, that type no, of thing? No, no, no permanent. No, no permanent. permanent. Okay. No permanent. No more than a, no more than a week stay. Okay. Okay. You know, completely transient. It's not going to be turned into a um, uh, permanent residence. Okay. You bring in and bring out. Huh? You bring in and bring out. Right. <clears throat> No, no motorized. No permanent structures. One week max. What's that? One week maximum. Uh, All right. One week. I don't know. I mean, that would that would be out. That would be debatable. Could be a month. I don't know. Okay. But you know, the whole idea is that you don't come in and set up for the whole summer. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> So maybe just limit times and let the planning board work within state law as well as some other right. ordinances that we're looking at? Yes, okay. the um, Bar Harbor ordinance and a lot of the state park uh, rules and regulations should apply to the rural nature of Barry. Of okay. The ski area is welcome to to, uh, I think that it would be allowed in their area. <clears throat> Say that again, Brooks. I think uh, RVs are allowed in the resort district. Um, they try, they put them in the parking lot, but I don't yeah. think they're not. They're, they're not, not, they're not technically to. allowed. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so do they set up there for like Tough Mountain Challenge and they're there for the weekend? Sure. They're usually self-contained, or they're using the public restrooms in one of the other restaurants or something. Um, so they have they have their own policies and yeah, they're not really supposed to be. They're really not supposed to be there by our ordinance. But they sneak in. They do. They park in the parking lots. They typically um, the wife carry, Top Mountain Challenge. Um, trying to think of other summertime events over there. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I think so too. They don't do the zip line anymore, so. Yeah. They typically just, you know, the, they're big events that happen. There might be somebody that wheels in with a um, little, um, what are the, conversion van yeah. type thing for a wedding. They may park in the parking lot up to Jordan or, or at the summit, but they don't they don't set up to camp. Mm -hmm. They're just there for the event and then they're gone again. Yeah. Then they're down here in Newry Corner. <laughs> We've seen them this summer. Oh, is that up there? We've, I've seen conversion vans. Well, because I come through pretty early in the morning. When you were going to work down at the daycare, you must have saw a couple of them. Did they just park there and they pull the blinds on their windows? Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then like just, a Walmart. 
they're just staying the night, they're doing yeah. the Walmart thing, and, and then they move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we don't have a police force. I, I've never seen anyone there more than one night, mm -hmm. so I don't get too excited about it. There aren't many other public places in Mary for them to pull over. And I think if they parked at the um, the rivers, the river in Bethel, in Bethel. no, yeah. just yeah. the parking area, the picnic yeah. area. Yeah. I think if they park there, they might get harassed a little bit. There's people in and out of that place at all hours, mm -hmm. so that's probably why they don't park there. Yeah. I've seen them up at the Grafton parking lot for the AT. You know, again, they're usually there just to hike. They might, you might see that van parked there for the weekend while they do the Grafton North Loop Trail, but it's Grafton. Not my issue. <laughs> okay, so we want to have rural in nature, wilderness type camping. That I mean, that's to me. That's that's what um, that's what I like to see. I don't know about the rest of the town. That's yeah. <laughs> okay. I have to agree with you. Okay, Gary. Well, I don't think we need to get a big, you know. We can't have a RV back there. But I mean, if, it, if you're going by a model like Moe's, then she can put campers in there. But little ones. She doesn't have hookups. She doesn't, right? She doesn't have soup. She has a, a couple of them that might have electricity and water. Just but none, none with water. Just, there's uh, electric. They, they all. I think they all have electric. Okay. But no, no, they can't tie their black waistline no. into anything at the no. campsite. No. Okay. No, but they do have a dump station there. Yeah. yeah. yeah it probably so. gets pumped out by Do Doyon, Mike Fields. I really couldn't tell you, but probably somebody okay. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's what they term legal nonconforming, meaning it exists. There's nothing we can do about right. it at this time. Um, and it was done right at the time she put it in. So no matter how we change this ordinance now, there's nothing that can happen to Grafton Notch Cape Right. That's the name of it, right? Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, OK. Um, but is it up to the planning board to decide further on what, you know, like spacing? And they are. Yeah, they, they've already. So they're working. Yeah, it. yeah they're working through the definitions they're going through the udro and putting the the legalese if you will yeah. to the ordinance so it fits in with the rest of the udro we don't want to throw something at this and at the taxpayers again to vote on and then edit it again next year so we're going to take our own sweet time and work through this and and, and a couple other things that have come to light um you know this committee brought up a good point right from the get-go we may not want to see RVs there, but guess what is allowed there? Mobile home park. You know, it's just one of those things that it's like, okay. We don't want to tell people what to do with their land. If, if any taxpayer that's got, you know, let's say 10 acres, and it fits within the definitions of our UDRO, do we want to walk down that sticky wicket? No. Uh, let's we'll concentrate on definitions and campgrounds at this time. I think um, I don't think anybody's pushing to put a mobile home park in Newry right now. We need affordable housing, but I don't know if mobile home parks are that affordable. By the time a developer were to put in all the infrastructure and meet all the state guidelines, all the septic systems, we got the river to consider. We have our water to consider. So, yeah, I don't think that's anything we need to get excited about. Um, no permanent structures, nothing motorized. You want to have some time limits. We don't know exactly what those would look like, but we don't want to see them there all summer. We don't want them. Homeless people just camped out there. Thank you. Uh, we're going to keep them rural and wilderness type. How do we feel about composting toilets rather than have them fend for themselves with their waste? Yeah, they have a, cent a central uh, facility. Like they could, yeah. But then somebody should be there to maintain it. Too. You mean in a campground? In, in a ca if, we, if somebody wants to buy 10 acres and put in a wilderness campground, do we want to let them put in a solid structure, a brick and mortar, if you will, with a kitchen, running water, 
in you know a his and hers bathroom. I would say that would be that would be essential. That would be an, personal hygiene, I think, is yeah. That would be an essential service that that isn't just dumped in the woods. <laughs> well, we they can permit pit privies outhouses like they have in Grafton Notch. We right. can do that. And, and, no showers though, and no kitchen. And uh, Maureen has one of those too. Does she? Okay, but does she have a central building for kitchen and showers? It's an outside sink. Okay. Uh, with okay. a compost and bucket, yeah. uh, you know, for uh, for food waste. For food waste. Okay. All right. And then, are there showers? There's showers. Okay. His and, and hers. His and yeah. hers was same. Okay. All right. And I think it should be uh, seasonal. Mm -hmm. Which season? I was just going to say that. <laughs> uh, Summer? Summer. Mm -hmm. Right. So if they've got to, if they have to uh, drain the water, then the place is closed. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. If they're going to have a kitchen and a, and a shower, they're not going to want to heat that. So kind of like uh, oh, Memorial Day if to you know, like close it and drain it, then they're going to be they're in gonna, more trouble. They're going to incur some cost. Them some money. That's right. Sorry, I'm trying to think how to word this so I get it across to the planning board correctly. The state park uh, and we'll go from Memorial know. Day to uh, Columbus Day. Yeah. So yeah. This weekend. That's about what Papoose goes, I think. Maybe like a week also, before Memorial. Let people state, get signed up. The state park and uh, you know Acadia Federal, their their campground model would be my idea of a model. You know, seasonal. Mm -hmm. uh, Lexa that, Bagel. That, that's basic. Yeah. It's primitive. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, Less is more. Huh? Less is more. That's right. That's okay. what, you know, that's, even though at most campgrounds, people are, you know, they can hear each other. Yeah. There's a quiet time. To yes. them, it's getting away from everything. Yes. To me, it's <laughs> uh, trick them. It's very different, but, for, yeah. depending on how we're yeah. all raised and how we live. Somebody right. from Boston right. thinks this is Alaska. We're very remote. Okay. Yeah. You know, to us, this is just next door. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what do we want to do Memorial Weekend? Do we want to set that so it's the uh, date will move, but Friday before Memorial Day? Whatever, whatever is. Yeah, whatever. Is, I don't know if that. I think that's the uh, usual. Is is right around. Some places will use Mother's Day weekend, but I figure Memorial Day is everybody knows what that is. We, some years, maybe not this year, we'd be lucky to be rid of the snow by Memorial Weekend. In, in the, well, in the wooded, Columbus wooded Day area. weekend is usually the big weekend of the mountain, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, what yeah, do they do? carrying, and that's the Oktoberfest. Yes. So keep it open through Columbus Weekend? Uh, Give them economical options for staying in town. I think Bowl's open to Columbus. Yeah, okay. So like the second or third week there. Yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah, anywhere 11th, 12th, somewhere mm -hmm. in there. It's usually when I go down to see the grandkids because it gives me an extra, gives me a holiday versus a vacation day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So the planning board is working on, um, like I said, definitions. They'll work on the timeline, you know, taking consideration what you guys want to do, either one or two weeks, maybe even a month stay, but clear, clearly define the stay. Um, we're also looking at how it fits in the UDRO within the district. Where's my minutes? Yeah, how, how they define campground, recreational camping, lodging facilities, um, all, you know, because the state, you, there are different definitions of camping, so we want to make sure we include them all. Even if that means we exclude that activity in the ordinance, we still want to define them. So they're working through all of that. And then, 
once we get something we like. Um, yeah, they went through all of that. Operational law must be developed in conformance with the standards. When no. did they go through all of that? Um, they've been working on the different languages and just in general discussions at the last two meetings. I wasn't at the last meeting, so let me see what they... Let's see, we talked about fire ponds, and open discussion was the UDR edits for campgrounds. And that was the December 7th meeting. You were there. It says Brooke stated. Yeah. So you, you were there for that one. Yeah. Um, but I didn't know that that document was... Published. No, this is minutes, and I'm very thankful. I do have a member of the planning board that puts these, uh, you know, bullet points for us to talk about together. This is not a... This is not a draft of anything yet. Just bullets. It says draft on it. It does. Yes. UDR edits. Can we have a copy of that? You sure can. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let me go make that. You know, this whole committee I just felt like a puppet. Well, it was very clearly defined what the select board voted on. It was going to be very general. I'm surprised it's actually sat this long, but I think it's because it started with some confusion. Let me make copies. I'll put in that music in jeopardy. Our fearless leader is coming in 100 miles an hour. Um, All right. <laughs> Bruce. <laughs> All right. Those are printing. We'll take a second. Yeah, let's remember that the printer. <laughs> I'm actually using the old one right now because it's faster. <sighs> Mandy did get a bunch of stuff on printers. She sent it to all of us today from her, from the hotel. Hi, Hi. Hello. I've been taking notes from you. <laughs> oh, good. Why is it bowl of candy in front of my place? Just because it needed to go somewhere. Oh, I'm diabetic. Here, you can have one. <laughs> <laughs> where we started. Just reiterating what I wasn't here for. <laughs> so we are setting the parameters of the camp Grounds. We are not. We are Plus just a bunch of so. dummies. What's that? We're just a bunch of puppets. <laughs> so in my understanding, we, I guess we, did, did we really, I mean, we kind of did our thing, right? I mean, I mean did we just said we're going to keep it in rural, rural district. Yeah. Yeah, what are we here for? And... So if that's the case, then we can make those recommendations to the planning board. But we already did. I don't know if we fully made those. I, you know, I, I'm sorry, but my, I got, I got, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm got a lot going on. So. Um, you have one of these in your packet right here. Besides, you guys have already been doing it, so. Well, no, we're working on definitions. We're not working on what districts you guys want to see it in. We've already established that. What district? I know, but Brooks was saying that the planning board was working on this already. We're working on what, what's not clarified or what was voted on by the selectmen. I guess I didn't know, so the selectmen have already been doing something with this? No. Back when this committee was formed? Yeah. Let me have that. Yours isn't here. Right. Okay. Back when this committee was formed, it was specific as to what this committee was going to do. Let me get that up. I don't have that. I'm not supposed to be sitting here. Um, The what the selection voted on was to have a committee vote and research what districts 
We all wanted to, this to be it, as citizens of the town. The planning board was going to work through the legal part of it and how it fits best into the UDRO. Right. Right here. The two parts, the which growth management district should allow the development of campgrounds, and the second objective of this committee was to, within the district, should any type of campground be allowed more narrowly defined. And I think that's what Brooks just gave me, was some of those narrowing, if you will, that they wanted to see, this committee wanted to see. No permanent structures, nothing motorized, time limits, one or two weeks, up to a month, but they don't want to see a homeless person living there, you know, for four months. Rural in nature, wilderness type, you know, a central structure with a kitchen, his and her showers, composting, or real toilets. Or you could still have it out. You could still have privies, you know, at, at the remote oh, parts. Yeah. Sure, yeah. And seasonal, summer season. Uh, May, like the Friday before Memorial Weekend through Columbus Day Weekend. And that's the, I think that meets the two objectives of this committee. I think. I'm, 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 and I'm, I'm perfectly good with that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And are, are we, are we in, in, in conjunction with, or are we all in agreement? Is there anything well, anybody else wants to talk about? There's something, there's something else there. Well, I have Well, I'm not sure about motorized because you got, like, the abeyance that people camp in. Yeah. You're going to say they can't go into the campground but impact at these sites for a night or two? Or... What does Mo allow right now? Small ones? Well, I mean, if someone has, you know, a self-contained band that pops yeah. out, yeah, it yeah. fits on the site. We don't want to see Class A motor homes that are 40 any, feet right. long. They don't have hookups for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So a self-contained single vehicle, or a single vehicle self-contained. Oh, no, it said motorized, so... Well, we're talking... We, 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 can, right. we, can, we can make that parameter of what yep. we want if we want to allow motorized. So like a VW microbus camper can go in and pop the camper up, right? Or... or long wheel couldn't. Right. So, so, are we, so then we're limiting it to a 38-foot motor home? No, um, right. right. <clears throat> Modeled on a the uh, state park or you know the Acadia National Park, they're rural campsites. They're pretty basic. You know, they're, they're, if they do have uh, motor home hookups, it, it's the, I mean there's no hookups. It, it's basically there's a central place to dump, like most campground. She's got a dumping station? She does. Yes. Because uh, even a little tow behind pop up camper, uh, some of them have uh, tow in on it. Yeah. With a holding tank. With a small holding tank, yeah. Uh, so those are allowed at those rural sites? I, I've never camped in Acadia, so I'm not sure. Those are allowed in Acadia? If it's self contained. Okay. Yes. Okay. So do we say like anything under 24 feet or under 18 feet? Uh, well, I know Rangeley, the state park, you can put at least a 30 footer in there. You know, so that's what. Yeah. So yeah, because not all state parks are the same. No. Well, well you see, we're gonna go by the set of standard or go by the, the what the state parks and stuff are. Mm -hmm. Where are you going to draw the line? Are you going to tweak them so that they go smaller? So that okay. means you can't go in there with your, with your tow behind, you right? So then we're have? not going to go with what the, mo the model is at the state park because I can. I think the idea, the idea of my idea is to, to uh, on Route 26, Keep the viewscape, keep the rural landscape. If they can have it, they can have it where it's allowed now, and it can't be seen. It's well buffered. Mm -hmm. That would be the key thing, you know. If they can 
uh, figure out logistically to get across into that area. Like as an example, Kellogg Road. Let's let's pretend those cabins are no longer there on, on the White's property. Right. Let's say they access that rural land through Kellogg Road, right. but everything after that, because it is well buffered, uh, was. <laughs> yeah, true. They logged it pretty hard. Huh? Um, it you know, will be. It, 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 it'll come back. Oh yeah, a couple, no. within five years, there'll be little pines this tall. Um, let's let's say that's well buffered. It's well off the road. We still have the view skate. Yep. So, do we want to allow up to thirty foot campers? I think I think what we I think what I would like to see the planning board do, since it's twenty years later or how many years it was, assess whether uh, Route Twenty Six needs a viewscape ordinance, so that uh, a byway, scenic byway, scenic byway. So, yeah. if someone wants to put something on on the backside of Sunday River, they've got to be buffered so that we can't see the lights. Huh? That'd be great. You know, it it's it's to me we have a very unique town. Mm -hmm. We've got one that is is got so much pressure on development. <clears throat> We've got a, a gateway to, um, to the Great North Woods, basically. <laughs> well, and, and yeah. once you hit New Hampshire, that is isn't that what they call it in New Hampshire? No. Well, uh, it is. Yeah, the Great North Woods in, yeah. in Vermont is the Great Kingdom or Northern Kingdom or something. So right. we are part of that. In right. my opinion, I think we are the gate to that. Yeah. And so, you know, you have two different types of activity. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a lot of people in, you know, on the weekend with four wheels heading for New Hampshire where they yeah. allow it. Yes. Uh, you know, but they, 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 actually, they actually stop right on North Road. Yep. Unload there because Upton connects now with New Hampshire. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, so do we ask the state for a study? The or? man who I communicated with first at DOT about the scenic byway, more than happy to come and speak with us. So then would we put a moratorium on... Ooh, that's a big word. Well, you know what I mean, but, but how, how, do we, how, do we, how do we postpone it then? Moratorium yeah. is the way you postpone it. We are in the midst of working on something, so right. it certainly shows the citizens that we're doing our due diligence. Um, a moratorium is certainly the way to, to go at this point and say, we, we need six more months. And it slows down anybody that's actually thinking of applying. Right. And if we can get something for the, like from the state, you know, for a state mm -hmm. byway or, or apply for that, then that could yeah. actually limit the parameters of, of, of what, and what we're going to do. Yeah. What we're gonna do. And They'll buy some time to really kind of look at it. Well, this, this, would, this would also open up money so that they might put some decent shoulders on. <laughs> yes. you know, I can't believe that they rebuilt the bridge in Grafton and they had to immediately put up signs, narrow bridge. Yes. <laughs> they took yeah. the bridge out and rebuilt it narrow. Agreed. Yeah. I can't believe that. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be two logging trucks passing each other right there. Because it also kind of mm -hmm. almost looks Crooked. I'm sure yeah. it's an optical illusion, but it looks like it, you know, road, straight road, bridge. It looks funny. The only, you know, wide shoulders are a lot different than a turnout. You know, mm -hmm. the little turnout by my house, you know, every morning, you know, Keith is right. Uh, you, clockwork, log is stopped there, and if there's no... Oh, by the fire pond? Huh? By yeah. The fire, yeah. yeah. You know. That's that's where they take their morning relief. Uh, agreed. But you know it's not the town job to do that. But if the state put in paved shoulders, mm -hmm. then uh, especially you know by the Davis, there's always people pulled over there taking pictures, yes. different areas. Where Plus, if your bicycles a little bit more room. Bicycles, um, you know, if we ever did want to improve full wheel uh, ATV trails that they need to come out onto the road, even if just for 100 feet, it'd be better than them riding on a shoulder, a dirt shoulder, you know. Anyway, so what yeah. do we need to okay. do then to, to, to start a moratorium? That I don't know. I've never started one. Um, previous administration was the one that put forth the moratorium on mining. 
and that was spearheaded by one woman. So none of, let me let me find out. I'm not sure. Moratorium. Moratorium on what? Campgrounds? Moratorium on, Along the, on, with on, research on, on the permit Kai? on the permitting of any campgrounds. But we also want to do the scenic byway. Well, uh, that's you know, and for, for <laughs> until we have further study for our scenic byway. I mean, I I, I don't have a word. Okay. Yes. You know, but, but but a moratorium on permitting any campgrounds until or a anything else for that matter. Or what? Anything else? For or that anything? Matter. Anything? I think no development at all. And, and we can define it in the corridor. In the in the well, come around here. Where do, where would you say the scenic view starts? That's Branch Road. No, no, no. It's up, no, it's no. Up, no, it's up further than that. No, the scenic. If you if you want to count the scenic view from Davis Field, it's just above the town office. Just. That's, uh, oh, that's from, from, from Norm going up? Right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right so there. just before Great Brook Preserve? Yeah. That, yeah. Well, yeah, this side this of that, side. right? Yeah. Norm Davis is where the guy cuts all the wood. Uh, Pat Moore, yeah. Pat yeah. Moore cuts all the wood right there? Yeah. Right about there? Well, no, it's about a uh, quarter mile back. Okay. Where the frost teams are. Huh? Where the frost teams are. <laughs> the, the what? Frost, frost teams. <laughs> yes. The one with the head, the sign. Yes. Yeah. Just Hold on, your dentures. Tighten when your straps. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I know where we're talking now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So pretty much from here, right around the corner yeah. from the town office, all the way to the property, all the way to the town line. Town yeah. line. Okay. I mean, there is already, uh, you know, there's already houses that you can see the lights. Shining up the valley. Well, from here. Yeah. There's two brand new houses going up right there. We were watching the glint on the excavator the other day. Yeah, I wish sure. that they would turn the lights off when they go home. Me too. <laughs> they don't. Me I too. wish they. I could get the money from all those houses that leave their lights on 24/7. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they are not. not. I mean, what is it? So they, so they can say like, hey, look at our house in the dark. I think they're scared <laughs> of the nightlight. Security. Life. Security. Yeah. Security. Yeah, because they all have cameras and they all have right. um, speakers. So you go to do work at the houses and they can hear you and see you. Mm -hmm. All right, so a moratorium to review the scenic byway from basically, um, I, I call it beginning in Norm Davis's field. Yeah, mm -hmm. all the way Blue to the Blue. town line. Okay. Okay. With the parameters that you guys have given me, that we'll bring to the planning board here in a half hour. Yeah. Um, and this, and this, uh, and this should cover uh, not just campgrounds, but any, any. Development. It halts development on right. Route 26 while we review the scenic yeah. byway. Mm -hmm. So if I want, so they're not going to put in another Great Brook. Huh? So they won't put in another Great Brook. Uh, Are you thinking of putting in a mobile home park in your field? Okay, if I was. So. <laughs> okay, I think that I think I think that is with as much work as this committee as well as what the planning board members have put forth already. I think it's proven to us that a scenic byway might be time to be revisited. Mm -hmm. It doesn't restrict development that much. That guy from DOT did explain. It just gives us the nice designation on the DOT website. We can market it at the at the chamber. That we just became members of. So, yeah, for those of you who didn't know, the select board voted last night to become part of the chamber. Good. It helps streamline communication with the community, not just our community, but Greenwood, the yeah. greater community, yeah. Um, so, okay. I will go to Loretta tomorrow and talk to her about a moratorium. Mr. Selectman, how do you feel about that? What? I don't know, is that really part of our description about... It's not, but within your description. We've got free of speech and we can still make recommendations, yeah. whether it's within our purview or not, of what we're instructed yeah. to do. And it may be that the planning board, a half hour from now, agrees with this committee saying, you know what, you're right, we have put forth a lot of work, it's generated a lot of paper, Maybe it is time we put a moratorium and look at a scenic byway 
prior to adopting changes to the UDRO for any development, not just campgrounds. Better to do it now than when it's too late to say, oh. And that's why we're taking our time and not trying to rush these changes for this coming town meeting. Is it? You don't want to end with our side. You can always call a town meeting. You can always do a special town meeting. That's right. Yeah. But if a moratorium makes more sense while we still work this hard on something, then maybe that's the route we look into. We meaning this committee, planning board, select board, mm -hmm. the town. Yeah. We, the big collective we. So the voice of the people can be heard. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Brooks, I don't see these on Facebook. What are you getting for feedback when you publish these these minutes? Are you getting any feedback? I, I since they, uh, I don't know what, since there was talk of uh, broadband or whatever, mm -hmm. my internet speed has gone way down. So I'm not, <laughs> ab I'm not able to uh, do it. Okay. I've what, are you work still working on dial-up up to your place? Huh? You working on dial-up up to your place? Just about. <laughs> You're welcome to come here. You know that. I mean, yeah, this well, room sits empty 90% of the You got fiber over here now? We must have. The phones, all our computers, the state website, everything running must be on fiber here. We can't be doing dial-up still. Friday's my last day working with four-year-olds, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot more energy. <laughs> <laughs> they can zap it out of you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, when and if you see feedback, huh? yep. I mean, I, I'll be honest, there's not a lot of development north of here, so I don't go north of here very often. Wheeler Road, that one house, that's where I'm headed most of the time if I travel up there. Um, so I don't, I don't have the pulse up there like I do over there. Okay. You spend a lot of time on Merrill Hill. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Keith on the off. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I don't need to keep you all if you don't. Uh, I think I, I think I understand and Bruce understands. We'll bring it to the planning board and see what they say. Yeah. And go from there. Do you want Brooks? Are you going to stay in the film planning board? Yeah. Okay. Not my place to end the meeting, so I'll sit back there and be um, quiet. Uh, if we're all in accord uh, with what we've got, then I say, um, I guess, make a motion to adjourn. Forever. I, I, well, is the committee done? Well, do you think we need to be done, or do you think? Well, we can always re yeah. I, I think we can be done, and then if we need to do it again, we'll reform it. No, I, I think, I think that the committee is done. I mean, we can have our say as citizens. Yeah. I don't yeah. think I've been too bashful uh, in recent years. No. <laughs> um. Okay. If this committee feels like they're done, Bruce, do you? I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to make a motion to dissolve the committee uh, for what we've got. Okay. All in favor? Okay. All right. So be it. <laughs>